Okay, welcome to Crypto News and Investigative Reports. I'm glad that you're able to join us today. I'm glad that you're being uh, you're able to be a part of our newscast. Um, thank you all for uh, reporting the uh, digital asset news. Uh, blockchain technology is the most important technology of our time, of our current time right now. And so thank you to all of those that are out there making this information and getting this information out to the public. Thank you very much to all of the YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or whatever your social media is. I want to give a shout out to you. Keep up the good work. I want to start, uh, Just let's just get into it right here. I want to start, uh, the central bank has had some real serious news uh, over the last month and a half. And if anybody watch any of the videos that I put up, I always talk about those three entities. The, uh, the IMF, uh, the World Bank, Central Bank, and the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve has made a shift and uh, gave some of the duties of watching over cryptocurrency and digital assets over to the U.S. Treasury Department, which is something I went over in my last video. But I always talk about the IMF, the World Bank, Central Banks, and the Federal Reserve must come together. They cannot work independently for something global to happen. In order for something global to happen, they're all going to have to come together and work together uh, in order for a for global process. And so they've been meeting. The IMF, the Central Bank, World Bank, Federal Reserve, they've been holding meetings. And, uh, and we got some serious, serious Central Bank turnarounds. Uh, some of the countries that were banning cryptocurrency, like China, for instance, and Thailand and Iran, uh, some of those countries have decided after meeting with uh, the uh, central bank meeting, they have all turned around and said, OK, yeah, now we agree and we're going to go ahead and try to work with the uh, central bank digital currencies. That's what uh, this is. The CBDC stands for central bank digital currencies. So the central banks are going to work with their are going to develop their own uh, digital currencies and by them by the central banks developing their own uh, digital currency is going to allow them to keep control over their digital currency. And one of the things, a couple of things that makes a country sovereign uh, is that it's their military and their currency that keeps a country sovereign. And so they do not want to lose control over their, uh, over their uh, monetary, monetary systems by allowing s some other cryptocurrency to come in and take over. So what they've decided to do as a as central banks, what the central banks decided to do is to make their own digital currency. And so um, here is a list and this is going to be a short video, but here is a list of central banks that are working on their own. Uh, this is a list of central banks that are working on their own digital currency, the CBDCs. All right. We have the Iranian Iranian Central Bank. They're developing their own cryptocurrency. What a big turnaround. The Venezuela Central Bank, we already know the changes that Venezuela has been going through, their central bank. Uh, the Central Bank of Caracol and San Martin, that one is, that's one of the oldest American central banks. Uh, we have the Singapore Central Bank. We have the Russian Central Bank. We have the Central Bank of Spain. Uh, we have the, um, the Central Bank of United, uh, the Central, the Central, uh, the Central of United Arab Emirates. The Saudi Arabia Bank, we have the Philippines Central Bank, we have the Taiwan Central Bank, we have the Thailand Central Bank, and we have the Central Bank of India. These are just some of the few. Of the few. Uh, what's missing on here is Mexico uh, and a couple of others. The central banks are going to issue their own digital currency, the CBDC, that would be accepted in cross-border transactions between two countries. Uh, this is the way these countries can keep control of their currencies. The central bank, the CBDCs, will use XRP, and this is my prediction, that these central banks will use XRP transition intermediary, and then they will move transition over to the receiving country. Uh, Ripple takes less than three seconds fluctuation, so there is no real problem with liquidity in terms of uh, the, uh, the, the transfer. So <clears throat> once again, the central banks have made a big turnaround after their uh, meeting. I think it was either in March or July uh, after their central banks regional big meeting. They've all decided to get on board uh, with uh, do, with uh, their own digital currency. And it does. It fits the bill for them. It works for them. 
Um, it looks like the IMF, World Bank, and the Federal Reserve, Central Bank, looks like they're all coming together. I've always said on all of my videos is that the IMF, the World Bank, Central Bank, the Federal Reserve, all needs to work together in order for any kind of global exception or any kind of global movement for a cryptocurrency. Now, uh, to make, you know, it looks like this, this onion that keeps peeling back. And what, what, what we're seeing out of it is that the central banks have figured out a way to you go ahead and uh, make their own digital currency. <clears throat> and uh, the Swede, Sweden is another country that's not on here uh, to, to make their own cryptocurrency. And uh, by them making their own cryptocurrency, it fits the bill for whatever they want to do. So let's let's take a look at some of the articles, though, and because I, you know, I comprise this list. But uh, let's let's look at uh, some of the articles. Um, uh, let's start right here. Uh, India sources claim central bank researching blockchain to decide what it can adopt. That's a turnaround for India. Uh, first, they were against cryptocurrency. And now they're saying that they're uh, that the idea of their central bank making their own cryptocurrency fits the bill for them. Um, uh, noise in the Indian media Monday, August 27th, suggested that the country's central bank is keen to improving its understanding of cryptocurrency and blockchains alleged by setting up a de dedicated unit a month ago. As Economic Times report, uh, citing people familiar with the central bank plans, the unit focuses on research for the phenomenon to check what can be adopted and what cannot. And so that, that's just a big turnaround for um, India, for them to be uh, going, going towards uh, selecting their own cryptocurrency. It fits them. They still get to have their sovereignty and it fits, their, um, it fits the bill for the monetary. Um, here's another one. This one is, who is this? This is Iran. Iran, okay? Uh, Iran expected to lift currency ban in September. It's a big turnaround. It says the deputy, the deputy of innovative technology at the Central Bank of Iran has stated that Iran's financial regulatory will be reviewing the country's uh, blanket cryptocurrency ban. Uh, it says the central bank officials also indicated that the country's regulatory apparatus pertaining to virtual countries is expected to be finalized by the end of September. So here's another big turnaround. Iran is making this big turnaround. Bam. They're getting ready to get a, uh, a digital asset from Iran. And then there's this problem, the problem of Venezuela. Everybody knows the problem of Venezuela. A Venezuela central bank releases an Android app for its new crypto bag Bolivar. Uh, so uh, without reading it, I, I think most of you all are familiar that following cryptocurrency knows that uh, there's some uh, AML problems uh, with this uh, country and not to mention a host of other political uh, problems that they have. And then so, um, then we have this country, um, the oldest central bank in the USA to ride the new digital revolution wave. Wow, FinTech, wow. Are you, are you catching this whole story coming together here? Um, central Bank of Caraco and San Martin has made an announcement that is going into a Collaboration with Brit, a firm which specializes in blockchain tech, to uh, deliberate on whether it should be it, it would be possible to issue a central bank authorized cryptocurrency, a central bank authorized cryptocurrency for these two island states. Um, I mean, the news on central banks putting together their own cryptocurrency is rampant. Every it looks like it's been an about face. For these, for all of these uh, countries, they all look like they've all turned the corner and said, "You know what? This is a great idea. Let's all jump on the bandwagon. Let's all do this. Uh, let's do a couple more." Um, uh, how about Thailand? You remember Thailand had uh, banned cryptocurrency for a while, but here it is: Thailand central bank to start a digital currency project. What does that tell you? That shows you that. The, some of the countries that were against cryptocurrency, like China and North Korea, uh, yeah, I think it's North Korea, <laughs> they were um, uh, banning cryptocurrency. They have all turned the corner. They have all said, hey, wait a minute. I think 
there are us developing our own cryptocurrency is the right thing and that's what we should do now there's articles that the IMF was saying no uh, don't develop your own cryptocurrency uh, we want you to select Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency that's already out there and I talked about that in a few of my previous videos that's why I'm kinda so shocked now that within a matter of a month all of the news about central banks has all turned around and they're all saying oh yeah just make our own cryptocurrency Thailand China uh, Philippines all of these countries Mexico all of them are saying oh yeah it's a great idea let's make our own cryptocurrency so now we're starting to see how this whole big story is all coming together you know and I think I'm being redundant on this I said this a thousand times they won't be able to have any global uh, mass acceptance of any cryptocurrency they were not going to be able to do that so what they're going to do is going to have their own cryptocurrencies and then they'll use ripple my prediction is that they'll uh, select ripple XRP as the cryptocurrency that they'll use as an intermediary uh, that will work for everybody even somebody like a Russia because uh, it will just be the intermediary cryptocurrency so the you know so the equation would look something like um, the equation would look something like this the central banks the CBDC uh, they'll have their own cryptocurrency whatever country that would be and then the XRP would be the transitional intermediary cryptocurrency and then it will go to the, the receiving country will get their uh, cryptocurrency whatever it is in their own country like Thailand because the central bank to start a digital currency let's look at another country how about Singapore Singapore's central bank and stock exchange explored what was this August 24th Central, uh, Singapore Central Bank and Stock Exchange explore blockchains for settlement for tokenized excuse me <clears throat> tokenized assets sorry about that tokenized assets yeah it says the monetary authority of Singapore and Singapore exchange are collaborating on the development of the new capabilities of the settlement of tokenized assets across different blockchain path, path platforms the central bank announced on Friday and so here's another country that was not pretty kind of unsure some of the countries I got up here are some of the countries that were unsure I was getting uh, last month and the month before they, they were saying no way are we going to use a digital currency but after that meeting I think they had I think the meeting was in Buenos Aires maybe the one in March or maybe the one in July you know I had a video somebody sent me about a secret meeting in July and uh, that the central banks were supposed to be having well anyway whatever the case is they have come together and they have decided on building this um, uh, this uh, CBDC central bank digital currency How about Russia it says Russian central bank to facilitate blockchain based transaction Russian central bank will provide an opportunity to use smart contracts and electronic letters for credit as early as 2019 on a large scale it says on a large scale the authority is the uh, the authority is preparing the necessary framework to implement blockchain into its operating system a domestic media source has reported the central bank is planning drastic changes to a to the regulation 383p on the rules of the tr of the transfer of funds there is another country and so you know and so all of these countries man all of these countries are saying we are going to develop our own digital currency and it's going to be interesting how all of that is going to unfold you, you know how many countries are there well that's how many uh, digital currencies from the central banks that you're going to have and then the other question becomes what about commercial banks so you mean to tell me now because the United States has the reserve currency of the world so who's going to be the reserve currency it's not is it still going to be US dollars or you know it's going to be interesting it's a lot of questions it's a lot of I got a lot of questions about all of this news that uh, that has just come out over in the last month or so and they are about face that a lot of these countries are doing because they like the idea of developing their own central bank digital currency like I said, what about the commercial banks? What about the little small community banks? 
what are they going to do? I mean, it's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen out of that. All right, I'm finished. Uh, but uh, I'm glad that you were able to join us today. Um, make sure that you subscribe uh, and, uh, you know, click uh, down there and, and subscribe and follow us. We're on Twitter, Crypto News and Investigative Reports. We're on Twitter. Uh, and um, please leave your comments. What do you think about all of this? Uh, this is a lot. All of these banks, all these central banks are, are making the change to go to a digital currency of their own. Uh, and then they're probably, man, what do you think? I'm thinking that they're going to use Ripple XRP as the intermediary to all of these different cryptocurrencies. Uh, that, that's quite a bit. There's a lot of, we have a lot of uh, digital currencies in our country, I mean, around the world. That's going to be a lot of different digital currencies around the world. What's going to happen? What's going to happen to that? Um, and then uh, one more thing. Uh, this is, uh, oh yeah, one thing, one more thing before we cut out here. Uh, this is um, Berkshire Hathaway, and um, the reason why I bring this up is because I was looking at this week Bank of America uh, uh, try to request another patent so they could survive. The reason why they're requesting diff 50 different patents on 50 different things is so Berkshire Hathaway can survive. You know, Warren Buffett was not talking very well about cryptocurrency. As a matter of fact, he's been putting cryptocurrency down. Bitcoin ain't nothing, blah, 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 blah. So here's what his stock is today. On the, uh, uh, new, on the New York Stock Exchange. So Brookshire Hathaway uh, A-Class shares is um, $316,200 plus another $3,350. So it, I, I don't know if, I, maybe I missed this, maybe somebody else reported on this, but this was the big guys betting money, okay? And uh, this investor bets, investor bets $6.3 million on Bitcoin to beat Berkshire Hathaway, okay? So <clears throat> this is Warren Buffett. So what this guy is saying, some anonymous guy, uh, and I think they found out who he was. He's on Twitter. Uh, this guy says that a one Bitcoin is going to be worth more than uh, one of Warren Buffett's stocks. Okay, and he also says that, and uh, he bets that it's going to be worth more by 2023, which is in a few years from now. So this guy is saying. One Bitcoin is going to be worth more than one Berkshire Hathaway shares. A well-known crypto expert has asked for a bet with Berkshire Hathaway that the price of a Bitcoin will top the notorious crypto skeptic shares by, the, by that price by 2023. I thought that that was pretty awesome. I think I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm definitely going to pay attention to this story, guys. I mean, this is the big boys betting money. I mean... You know, they're saying, look, I bet you $6.3 million that uh, one Bitcoin is going to be worth more than one, uh, one share of stock in Berkshire Hathaway. I think that's an interesting story. I think that's pretty funny. Uh, bet, uh, Bitcoin bets five years, $1.2 billion. Woo! So anyway, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to stop right there. This is a great story. If you haven't read about it, get into it. It's, it's pretty fun. Uh, and it's great to share and great to follow. All right. Um, once again, please subscribe to uh, Crypto News and Investigative Report as we try to do our best to bring you uh, uh, as much up-to-date information as we can. Uh, wherever you are, have a great day. Until the next time, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much.